Well, if you got a dollar, well, just lousy down. Know that I got rhythm that could suit your budget fine. Well, you can take or leave me, oh, but you ain't got much time. Cause I just keep on rolling down the line. Well, show me a sign if you're. So we're going to start with some issues of Woman's World that range from 1913 to 1915 and 1932 and 1934. So starting with the oldest one, we've got this image of The Bride, Chicago, June 1913, five cents a copy. Now, for some reason, I think she kind of looks like a nurse, but, you know, we'll give her the belief that she is The Bride. And it is the June issue of 1930. Now there was a, this has been folded at one point and there is a little bit of a tear uh, in the cover and a little bit on the second page. So just be aware of that. <clears throat> because of the age, uh, we're not dealing with as much color. We've got a great Quaker Oats ad. Sign and present to your grocer uh, for puffed wheat and puffed rice. Ivory soap, 99, 44% pure. Got an article of the little lamp, Mary Hart Reinhardt was uh, in her long black gown. She seemed detached, forlorn, and young, pitifully young. Conspiracy, story of the play, and St. Cross. Got a great uh, ad for the National Biscuit Company. Persistent purpose to produce perfect biscuit and to deliver them in perfect condition. So in one aim of the National Biscuit Company and the different boxes that they offer. Van Camp's Pork and Beans. Uh, who Wins $1,000? There have been a lot of money back then. Little Lee, Lee and Perrin's Sauce. The only original Worcestershire sauce is made by Lee and Perrin's. Crisco. Dessert book, lightning freezer, sketch the girl contest. Ooh, they did those back when I was a kid. Uh, White Mountain ice cream freezer. Three pretty costumes for early summer. So kind of patterning. Costuming, charming summer costumes for misses. Peerless patterns. Face powder, freckles. Wallpaper. Procter and Gamble naphtha soap. Shirtwaist costumes, children's summer dresses, palm olive. Look, check out the hat. Shirts for in infants. Oh, little stork scissors. Those they basically still sell those today. Just for boys. Let's play some music. Love springtime. Ladies, read this page. Any of the following are giveaways. Women's World Publication, corset, nine pieces of linens, and fantastic full-color back page ad for Coca-Cola with the trademark in the tail. All right, so that is Women's World, June 1913. We'll jump to Women's World, September 1915. Go through these a little bit faster. So this one, for some reason, increased vertically. Big ad for Spear and Company Pittsburgh, kind of a department store. Another ivory soap ad, Business of Marriage, Moonlight Poems, some great illustrations. Lady Next Door, Mystery Story by Isabella, Isabel Ostrander. How I Became a Suffragent, A Confession by Roland Lind Hart. I'm assuming this is by a man. Roland Lind. I guess that's a guy's name. Okay. I've never heard of a suffragette. Campbell Soups. Quaker Oats. Great picture, illustration of a uh, switchboard operator. Girl at the Board. Story of the Busy World. Adversity and Housekeeping. Crisco ad. Canthrop Shampoo. Quaker Oats. Ooh, check big uh, illustrated article for the Charles Williams Stores, New York. Resinol Soap, Mandel Brothers, Chicago. Uh, more fashion, school dresses, Procter & Gamble Nap the Soap. Fells Nap the Soap. Ooh, the com 
competition of the naphthas. More fashion. Coffee pot almost as tall as a Statue of Liberty. To brew all the Arbuckle's coffee used every week would require a coffee pot almost as tall as a Statue of Liberty. Oh, that's an interesting statistic. Another comp contest, Pompeian Olive Oil, Spiegel May Stern Company in Chicago, and their full color ad in the back is Congolian Rugs. So this again is Woman's World, September 1915. Then they changed their designs again to these two issues. So this is the July 1932. Beginning Little Miss Hurricane, a treasured relic. P&G Napa Soap. Add some color into some of their illustrations as we got into the 30s. More colors in the middle of the ad, so check out the Campbell's Soup ad. Developing patchwork quilts, Lux soap, Came, the soap of beautiful women, Cruise the Jolly Roger, got Officer Claus, J and P Coates and Clark. Don't nag roaches, kill them with black flag powder, royal baking powder, perfection oil burning stoves. What prize-winning jelly for only five cents a glass? Listerine. This does not look like a Listerine. A week ago, I had dandruff so badly. Now, not a trace. Listerine relieves itching and burning scalp. I had no idea. All right. Listerine had multiple purposes once upon a time, including curing dandruff. Use it on the inside and the outside. And the back ad is illustrated for the French, call it strawberry creme nouveau for gold metal flower. And then similar design to the front, but two years later, we're now July 1934, in Another Woman's World. Uh, this one has the little NRA uh, symbol on it. Um, we do our part. Also a full color P&G naphtha soap. Devil's Paintbrush, It Is to Laugh, Golden Pool Mystery, Looking Forward, I Can't Eat That, Bobinska and the Prince. Uh, let's see, this is Serto. Some sort of jelly, jelly making, gelatin. Four million jelly makers use Serto. I've not heard, I've not heard of that one. Joan Blondell, Lux Toilet Soap, X-Lax, ch ch Chocolate Laxatives. Lux Soap, Eagle Brand Chocolate Sauce, Plan Your Vacation, Perfection Oil Burning Stoves, Cooling the House with Color, General Electric Range, Low Brothers Paints and Varnishes, Bouquet Powder by Armand, Eczema, Black Flag, Revolutionary New Camera, Another reference to the NRA. Jet oil black shoe polish. More fashions. Tums for the tummy. Actually kills fleas. I think there are, these ads should have been separated a little bit more. Tums for the tummy actually kills fleas. Does not seem like those should go together. That's for Polvex. Asthma. Oh, full color ad for Bon Ami. She's looking kind of like Robin Hood. And the full color ad in the back is another gold medal flower ad with a little carousel cake. All right, so that's all the women's, women's world magazines that I had. And now I'm going to jump into, I've got two different issues of Woman's Home Companion. And these are from 1932 and 1939. So first we've got Woman's Home Companion. Now just as a frame of reference... The Woman's World were fairly thin. Woman's Home Companion has a spine. So these are quite a bit thicker, quite a bit heavier. Um, so this is the April 1932 edition, uh, Crownell Publishing Company. 
inside front cover is not that, or is it? Oh yeah, that's the label. Is a Congolian ad. I pan a toothpaste, Listerine Swift deodorant. Wow, Listerine just served all kinds of purposes. Camay, the soup of beautiful women. Chipso flakes, soap flakes. Some great uh, colored um, illustrations of some of the articles. The haunts of men. Okay, I'm gonna have to go through this faster because this is much thicker. So we're gonna see if I can find some ads. So we've got a full uh, page ad. Oh, cool, uh, I love looking at old floor plans. Uh, this is Swift's Premium Ham. Two Royal Princesses of Greece with Pond's Cold Cream. Quick Quaker Oats. Colgate Ribbon Dental Cream. Keep that schoolgirl complexion with Palm Olive Soap. Drano, Cannon Towels, Pillsbury Cake Flour, Kotex Sanitary Napkins, Frigidaire, ooh, a two-page ad, with uh, Frigidaire, a General Motors value, uh, Velvita, Larvex, uh, Knox is the real gelatin, oh, another, this might have been in, in color, um, the convertible house, Cream of wheat, shorter jackets, and higher skirts, because we are in the 30s. Clorox does the jobs you dread. Dinner you will enjoy with Mazzola salad. Linnet for the bath. Inside back cover is color ad for peat or pet milk. Is that the evaporated milk, I think? Uh, and then the back cover is Wesson oil. So that is Woman's Home Companion. April 1932. Then we're going to jump seven years to the Woman's Home Companion of December 1939. Inside cover, still full color ad for Bon Ami. Got the eye panda toothpaste. Uh, Listerine. Oh, so what should you use any for here? We've got gargling, cold or sore throat. Okay, so now we've got that use of Listerine, the one we, at least the one that I equate it with. Uh, ivory Soap, America's Magazine, the competition of the American Youth Forum, Del Monte Seedless Raisins, little subscription ad insert with the Christmas theme. That's actually cute. That'd, be, that'd actually make kind of a cute little framed Christmas decor item all by itself. Came Soap with the bridal theme, and then this is an illustration of an article, uh, Legend Frederick Nebel. Again, some great illustrations. Uh, we've got a recipe for soup, the Campbell's soup. Uh, what's this? Ponds, Sunbeam, Mixmaster, Pillsbury Flour. Um, forsake all heavy waxy creams. Keep your accent on youth, Lady Esther says. Jurgen's Lotion, Vitalator, Botany Robes, Heirloom Plate. Heinz Baked Beans, Toastmaster. Ooh, that's Christmas present number one, the Toastmaster. Super pies for holiday dinners. Oh, great. Got a little recipes. I uh, got a whole December uh, calendar, food calendar. On the 26th, shiny orange cases. Cut choice oranges in half. Scoop out pulp, fill shells with minced buttered spinach. <clears throat> or mashed sweet potatoes, heat in moderate oven for 20 minutes. The trick is to rub the outside of the cases with salad oil before you fill them. Okay. Underwood deviled ham, Bigelow weavers, Vicks vapor rub, Tangy ends the paint ends that painted look lipstick. Phillips milk of magnesia creams. Better books for better babies. Dry Skin Italian Balm, Clorox, Bell Telephone System, Gerber's Baby Food. Inside back cover is Rinso and the Spry. I've, had, I've sold uh, the Spry um, cookbooks before. And the back cover is, ah, oh, we've introduced the first cigarette ad, Camels, Long Burning Costlier Tobaccos. And again, that is Woman's Home Companion, December 1939. Okay, we're going 
have a stack of women's magazines. Now this one, just as a frame of reference, is a lot smaller. Um, so we've got Women's World, Women's Home Companion, and then this new idea, Women's Magazine. So you can see how much smaller this one is. This is also the oldest of the stack uh, that I'll be offering today. So this is from July, 2008. I'll actually see if I can zoom down a little bit more here. Since it is smaller, see so when we get closer. Uh, so again, we're going to get older, so some of the probably not as many ads will be in black or in color, but we shall see. So two beautiful pictures, some new idea publishing. Love some of the just, even just some of the illustrations. Um, ivory soap. Some, some great uh, fashion, seasonal afternoon house gowns. What were the well-dressed women's wearing in 1908? Okay, all kinds of fashion. Oh, silken confections for all ages, dainty summer accessories. Uh, women in the Goldfield Gamble, Fickle Fortune and her, her Whirling Wheel. Hester, Romance of Edith Kingdon Gould, once a queen of the stage, now a queen of society. So we're kind of, you know, tail end of the Gilded Age, 1908, from the Edwardian era, I guess you'd say. Nursery rhymes for grown-ups. Love, love the naughty man, stole my heart and the way he ran. He ran so fast, he tripped and fell, and he dropped my heart and it broke it, oh well. Okay, she recovered quickly. Uh, story contest, midsummer month. A lot of text, because really what else were you doing other than reading? Grape nuts, perline washing compound, LeBlanche face powder, uh, alabastine sanitary wall coating, interesting. Wick blue flame oil cook stove, Dutch, old Dutch cleanser. It was even old back in that, back in 1908. Old Dutch cleanser. Crystal domino sugar, serpentine crepe. Hydrate, hydrate, see hydrate on the salvage. That must be a uh, fabric. Allen's foot ease, hair, hair on approval. Perfect form corset combined. Bon ami, little kit, kitty ad. Um, just be aware whether I just did this or might have been like this before. I just don't know. The cover is separate from the uh, insert. And the back is a cream of wheat uh, color advertisement, kind of meta. She's actually advertising cream of wheat in there. And he does not look like the guy in the ad for cream of wheat, lest we forget copyright 1908. So that is the New Idea Women's Magazine, July 1908. And just to keep it a frame of reference, I also have the Mother's Magazine, March 1911. This is also this slightly smaller size. So I'll keep the camera zoomed in a little bit so you can see this. Uh, so Mother's Magazine, 1911. You've got the corsets still popular of that era. Curing children to make them good. Worth of feeding children properly. A plea for the bookkeeping housekeeper. When baby came. Lots of articles, lots of some illustrations to go with them. So rip through. Oh, beautiful. That'd be, that'd be a nice framed piece, the, uh, piece, the Mother's Spring. Great little color illustration for that. Uh, Sunday School Lessons for Mothers. All right, so we've got The Art of Keeping Young. The Art of, the art of Keeping Young, The Woman with Pretty Eyes. Furnishings for Your Home. Uh, Larkin Company. Alaska Floor Finish, Kalamazoo Direct Stove, Baker's Breakfast Cocoa, Rapid Fire Cookers, Quaker, Van Camp's Pork and Beans, Lean Perrin Sauce, You Need a Biscuit, Crystal Domino Sugar, Keep Chickens, Farm Journal, Japal Japalac, Paint, varnish, cap sheaf safety pins. That's kind of cool. Uh, Vaseline, 
baby pants. Vibration is life. Well, we're just going to let you make your own determinations on the purpose of this ad. But just take a think about that. Uh, silk raffia outfit free, embroidery waist, hosiery, music lessons. Inside back cover are diamond dyes for cotton, linen, and mixed goods. And the back is actually not a color ad. It's just a full page for the Berkeley, Burpee Seed uh, catalog. So that again is Mother's Magazine, March 1911. Then we are going to a more traditional, not traditional, but a more well-known magazine. This is the only issue of McCall's that I have. This is the McCall's from December 1925. And it actually, um, the new book by Zane Gray, Desert Bound, started in this issue. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know if, if he always did serializations or this was something special. Uh, so a little bit of wear on the cover. So again, just be aware. Um, inside front cover is a full color of cream of wheat. Got a subscription page still stapled in there. It's a Merry Christmas message from the editors. Le Parfum by Cody. Uh, Procter & Gamble, Naphtha White. Oh, here's the Desert Bound with some illustrations. Oh, lots of illustrations to go with this one. The Crystal Bowl, Featherbreds, Memories of My Mother, The Mystery Lady, The Father of Little Women, something in view so we got a little santa very seriously he picked up a toy soldier and examined it carefully santa claus dreading the approach of christmas not the real santa of course but just a forlorn department store santa claus about to lose his job and become again merely a poor discouraged out of work actor rigid rotation oh we got we have spot color so we got a red uh campbell soup yeah that's actually pretty sharp uh, Woodbury's Facial Soap. Uh, found the pigment taste that great chefs sought. Stero bouillon cubes. Eaton's Social Stationery. They say it behind your back. That's when they talk about you when you're not listening, when you're not present. Lambert Pharmacol Company. Oh, halitosis. Gonna say, what are they saying behind your back? Buster Brown Hosiery, Ever Ready Flashlights with Santa. Oh, that's a great Christmas ad. Clark's Mercerized Crochet Thread, full color ad for Del Monte. Looks like there's some little bit of discoloration at the bottom of some of these pages. Just be aware, full color of Craft, Montgomery Ward Catalog, Johnson's Liquid Wax, Diamond Walnuts. That's kind of a cool looking ad. Knox Gelatin, New England Colonial Homes were of many kinds. Heinz Tomato Ketchup, Eat More Cranberries, Absorbine Antiseptic Liniment, Pompeian Bloom. Again, we've got some discoloration. It seems to be thicker here at the back. Furniture in the Spirit of Today, Haywood Wakefield, McCall Printed Patterns, Premier Grand, P Grand Pianos. The gift that's filled with gifts. I think I've had that box. Beach nut packing. Breakfast bacon, bacon, bacon baking rack, peanut butter, strawberry preserves. A Christmas surprise treat for the youngsters and a variety of great things for grown-ups. A beautiful box of lasting utility is the mother of the home. That's the beach nut Christmas box. So maybe I didn't have that one, but they were of the, of the era. Clothing. The Echo de Paris. Inside back ad is Chipso Quick Suds. And back cover is full color of Swan's Down Cake Flower. So again, this is McCall's December 1925. The next one, I'm jumping ahead a little bit. This was one I was not familiar with. Um, but it is the last women's magazine, um, or what seems to be a women's focused magazine. 
that is uh, Flare, May 1950. And what I thought was really cool about this is you can see the cover is die cut. So you can see the face on the watercolor image behind it. So monthly magazine, 50 cents. Uh, Corone advertisement. Elizabeth Arden advertisement. So we're going into the 50s now. So a lot more color and a lot more contemporary images and photography. Saks Fifth Avenue. Wouldn't have seen a woman in 1908 wearing anything like that. Quaker Lace Cloths. Carol Stupel, correlated settings, so all the uh, match settings. Harry Winston jewels. Harry Henri Fayette Christmas cards. Terry wraps, decent exposure for dad and lad. Little towel, wrap towels say dad and lad. Um, table of contents. Red rose bouquet. So it seems to like have things about art, the new expense account society with cool little uh, illustration of the stork club, match club, matchbooks. Of all the lady byliners, Hedda Hopper has perhaps done most to confirm the hat as sumptuary mark of all high powered working women. We got hats, celebrity in flight, miserableism. Coolness, Marlon Brando, Judy Holiday, Fame in a Rose, The Specter of the Rose, in Monte Carlo in 1911, Dijinsky created the ballet, Rose and Beauty, Be Like a Rose, so this whole issue just seems to be themed somehow on roses, that's what explains the cover, Demi Jackets of Fur, The Flower, The Stem, Beach Black and White. The Rose Is, The Rose Settings. Potpourri, Rose, Roses mignon, Mignonette, Heliotrope, Acacia, Lavender, Made of Potpourri of Sweet Smells. I'm not sure what this, this appears to be like attached, so I'm not sure what that's doing. Uh, Bed of Roses, Sicily, so we got Travel Journal to Sicily. Uh, we've got an insert here in the back, kind of, kind of like construction paper thickness. Some poems. Myers to make a rum advertisement for Nantucket Island. Ooh, cool! Inside back cover is a color ad for the Fraser automobile, and on the back we get the alcohol of Shane Lee. I don't even know what that is. Scotch whiskey. Finer. There's never tasted a finer whiskey than Shane Lee. And there we go. That is Flair, May 1950.